everybody this is Arlene happy Friday uh, it's been a while since I've had a video up here on my channel and I just wanted to share a few things with you guys and say hi let you know I'm still alive it's been one of those busy summers for my family so um, yeah I haven't had a whole lot of time to sit down and and create uh, a bunch of videos and tutorials but I hopefully with school starting for the kids in a little bit um, I'll be able to get back into the swing of things so but I do have um, quite a number of design team projects that I have not shared with you yet um, because they need to be showcased first um, and then I can put my videos and blog posts up. But um, I can't wait to share those with you. But for now, um, I do have one project uh, that I just created for La La Land and it's using the new Bird Song paper collection by Graphic45 and I have one of the uh, sheets here and this is the bird song sheet it's double-sided of course um, classic graphic 45 vintage asian inspired really love it um, but this is the little circle card i created for la la land crafts the theme for this week's challenge is create a circle card so i created this um stand up easel circle card and you can do a search on youtube uh, that's what i did <laughs> to learn how to make the circle card so i'm not going to do a tutorial for so this. basically just so you know um i use the scallop grand circle die um, i have a grand caliber uh, but you can actually use your big shot with certain sizes of the grand dies which is really nice when you get to the bigger ones that are past six inches in diameter it will not fit through the mouth of your big shot so um that's where the grand caliber machine by spellbinders comes in but anyways, as you can see, I used three of the same size scallop circle, and one of them is just cut in half. Um, this is basically a folded piece of cardstock, and then when you die cut it, you just overlap a little bit so that you don't cut in that section. I hope that makes sense. So if you see it like that, you see that. So anyways, um, and then it adheres. So you can find a tutorial on YouTube, but it stands up like that. Um, this is Kimona Marcy, available at lalalandcrafts.com. She's so adorable. I love her. I love coloring with my Copic markers, and you know how much I love Graphic 45 and, of course, the La La Land images. So this was like a marriage in heaven for me. Um, when Graphic 45 came out with the Bird Song Collection, which was just released um, at Summer CHA, so you're going to see this in your, your local store soon. Um, anyways, um, when this paper collection came out, I thought of Kimona Marcy. And... It's just a marriage made in heaven. So I paper pieced her little dress using the birdsong papers and then I used some art glitter uh, to accent up her kimono. I did paper piecing also on her umbrella. And then all of the cutouts are of course from the birdsong paper collection. And it says konnichiwa, which means good afternoon in Japanese. And of course, I am Rose's Flowers. And I have a new vintage key from the Graphic 45 Staples collection that was also released at Summer Cha. And then I just have a little um, Asian coin back there. And both were alcohol inked with the Adirondack gold alcohol ink. And then I paper pieced the little bird there and popped him up. And this sentiment is from the paper collection. And I punched it out with my Stampin' Up! Word window punch. And I popped it up with some dimensionals. And that's what's holding my card open because it's an easel card. Okay, and when it opens up all the way, it's like that. I'll have some pictures at the end of the video so you guys can have take a look, but it's also, uh, the post is up And on then I just blog. wanted to share with you some of, and I'll share the paper collection with you guys as well if you haven't seen it. Um, Lindy Stamp Gang has some colors that perfectly match the Bird Song collection, and I wanted to share that with you. It's a combination of colors, but that's okay because you can create the colors that you really want if you don't have a very specific color. I think I it was on Facebook, maybe on a comment on Facebook, where someone was like, I don't have those color flowers. Um, and I asked her, well, did you know that there's Lindy Stem King sprays? You can make the flowers any color you want. Um, you know, you don't have to buy colors, you know, uh, flowers the color of your project. You know, you can, um, but it's very difficult, I'll tell you that. Um, but it's not difficult to grab your sprays, play around, and get the color that you're looking for. So... Anyways, I just wanted to share with you what colors I used um, to get some flowers. And these are I Am Rose's Mulberry Flowers. They used to be white. And I used different color sprays from the Lindy Stamp Gang um, Starburst Spray and Flat Fabio's Collection um, to achieve these colors to match the paper collection. Okay, And this leaf right here used to be white. Um, this Mulberry Paper Leaf from I Am Rose's. Okay, so this little flower right here, which matches my Geisha's kimono perfectly, as well as all the other reds in the collection, as you can tell. So this flower was colored up first. 
using Flat Fabio's. Um, I sprayed it first with Kissing Kaniki Coral. Okay, and that's a Flat Fabio. And, and if you're not familiar with Lindy Stamp Gang's Flat Fabio line, these are basically bold colors with no shimmer at all. And I love it because it behaves just like a dye. And you don't have to worry about the shimmer if you're not really looking for the shimmer. So, uh, and the colors are so bold, I love it. This is my new favorite red. It reminds me so much. And for those of you who are still GM users out there, <laughs> there were a few colors I was still holding on to. Well, they've all retired to my Harry Potter closet because now Lindy Stamp Gang has the colors. And I absolutely love Lindy Stamp Gang. I stand by this product, you guys. Um, if you haven't tried it out, you have to. But anyway, so this one's Rizzo's Rowdy Red. And the names are really fun because um, Lindy was such a fun lady. And um, she always came up with some really cool and unique names for her products. So Kissing Kaniki Coral and Rizzy's Rowdy Red um, is what got me this little flower here to match my reds in the paper collection. And then this one here matches the background of the paper, as you can tell. And this little piece here, or this little flower, was colored up with a couple of sprays also. My base of it is Clam Bake Beige, which is part of the Nantucket Pearls collection. And I sprayed a little bit of South Shore Sand, and this is a flat Fabio. And that gave it a little bit of a deeper color. Okay, so that matches the background of my paper. Now this matches the, the light coral pink flowers, or the cherry blossoms, in the paper collection. And I sprayed this with first um, Saltwater Taffy from the Nantucket Pearls Starburst Spray Collection also. And then I did a spritz of Cape Cod Coral. Not too much though, because Cape Cod Coral will give it more of a peach color. And I wanted to keep it more on the the pink, um, you know, the little bit of peach undertone, which would matches the, uh, the cherry blossoms nicely. So that's that. And with the blue, what I did is I spritz it with Whale Watch Blue um, on the bottom. And then I did a light touch of Azure Sea Asters. And this was a color from the older line. It's still available on the Lindy Stamp Gang website. And I really love this blue. It's more of like a light teal. And I don't want to go too teal because um, on the paper collection, it's teal, but not so much. <laughs> I hope that makes sense for you. Because then you start going over here um, to this. So uh, anyways, um, those are the colors that I use to go with the bird song collection by Lenny Stamp Gang. And let me go ahead and show you the paper collection. So you've seen this page and this is Birdsong. And I just want to tell you guys, I love this paper collection so much that I only have one sheet left of each one and some of them are cut into. So excuse me if they're not full sheets that I'm sharing with you. <laughs> okay, so these, this back side has the dragons. Really nice. Okay. And over here we have what's called Joy Luck. These are so pretty. And this is the back side, and these are the little town and country signs. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. Just a little bit closer. And this one is called Good Fortune. I love this. And I've cut out these before um, on, on a project, and I really love the um, how it has the different happiness, love, dream, and harmony. And these are borders, like borders. Again, that's the Good Fortune. And I love the Japanese kanji. That's really fun. So, okay, this one is called Endless Spring and it's got butterflies on it throughout. And look at Fussy Cut Central. You guys, I love these umbrellas. Super fun and so colorful. And this one is Cherry Blossom. I'm sorry, that collection was called Endless Spring if I didn't tell you. Um, this is called Cherry Blossom. Really pretty. Fun to fussy cut these two and use them to accent your papers. So now here's the coralish pink color from the collection. This is, this is still the cherry blossom paper. This one is called Jasmine Dream. Look at the images on this, you guys. And if you like search for like Japanese vintage, like from the 1920s, 30s, you'll probably find similar images. Um, one of our design team members found stamps. Um, I think it might've been from her grandmother. Um, she has the original stamps from long, long ago. And these images are very similar um, to those vintage stamps that she has in her collection. This one's called Longevity. Super, super pretty. Love the colors. And um, this one has the crane in it. I don't know if you can see the crane in the image there. In the paper. Um, this is called Shanghai Girls. So fun and pretty. Love this. All the images. And here's the back side. And I love these. These are, this, this um, sheet's called Enlightenment. It's got the, um, 
the lanterns. Oh, super fun. That's the back side. And this one is called Pearls of Wisdom. See, I used this one already. Um, but so many fun things to cut out. That's what I've done here already. But it's got butterflies. It's got the Japanese garden fans. And then on the back side, you have more fans. Okay, and then this one I, I used up like crazy. I really love this sheet. Look at the flowers on here. They're so pretty. That's why I've used it up because I've cut, fussy cut the flowers. And then the back side, you got the palm trees. Okay, so that is the bird song collection. I've shared the Lenny Stamping sprays that go with the collection, and I shared my little card with you guys. Here she is again. I wanted to give you guys a peek of the new Nutcapper Sweet Papers. This was also released at CHA 2012 um, this year, and um, there were a bunch of sneak peeks over at the Graphic 45 blog as well, and there's some coordinating stamps and everything that go with this. So I just wanted to share this collection with you guys really quick, and that's going to be it. So this is called Nutcracker Suite, and I love the Nutcracker, and we have the little ballerina. I grew up watching the Nutcracker with my aunt, and so this this collection, I'm just so excited about this. It's got the grandfather clock and then the header, and I love the framed border of this sheet. And then we've got purple. It's such a fun collection and all the different colors and everything. Okay, and there's this one with a lot of cutouts. You can fussy cut a lot of things here too. I've already fussy cut, um, you know, the grandfather clock because there's two sheets per 12 by 12 pack, right? Um, so we have that. And then this one's called Gingerbread Delights. I'm sorry, that sheet that I showed you just holiday magic. Got little, little gingerbread men to punch out or to fussy cut. And then it's got the, um, what do you call that, peppermint sticks on the back. And this one's called Festive Fairy Tale. Love this. Can you imagine you can totally make this into a book? That would be so cute. And it's got like the border there. And in the back there's little, little um, Christmas phrases that you can punch out. That's Festive Fairy Tale. This one's Land of Sweets. It's got the candy canes and a lot of, a lot of ribbon in the candy cane page. And this one's called Christmas March with the Nutcracker. Here's the back side with some swirls, peppermint swirls. This one's called Enchanted Journey. A lot of different cards to cut out here. And here's the back side with a whole bunch of candy. Again, it's called Nutcracker Sweet. So you'll see a lot of sugar plum. I love the pinks. You could do so many different things with this paper collection. There's such a variety of colors. This one's called Sugar Plum Fairy. Lots of different things to cut out. And this is the back side. Love the purple. And I'm not much of a purple person, but I love the Graphic 45 purple. Here's the ballerina slippers. This is called Beautiful Ballet. This one's polka dots. And this one's called Clara's Dream. It's got walnuts and different candies and peppermint sticks. And then more holiday phrases on the back. This one's called Snowflake Waltz. So pretty with all the ballerinas. This is the back side. And last but not least, this is the endearing sentiments with lots of fun things to cut out and add to your projects. That's the back side. Okay, guys, so that is my video for today. I hope you all have a great weekend. And oh, one last thing is Lindy Stamp Gang is having a pin it to win it uh, contest. So check it out on the Lindy Stamp Gang blog, and I'll have the information down below. Have a great weekend, everyone. Bye.